Welcome back. We are here uh, looking at the uh, indexes in the United States. We'll look at the uh, S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the uh, NASDAQ. And this is going to be my daily forecast for October 2nd, uh, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to click this support button down here in the corner. Uh, hit the bell, bell button and the like button. And uh, let's get to it. So at this point, we are trading above the 50 moving average. And it looks like the 50 moving average has become support. And that is a very encouraging sign for the S&P 500. That means that we have to get through the 50 moving average and this exponential moving average in order to get back to these lows. And that is going to be some hard work. Um, the technical indicators for the S&P 500 are quite positive. Uh, or really bullish, actually. We just crossed the signal line for the MACD, indicating bullish momentum. The RSI has a lot of move to the uh, 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 space to the upside, basically in the middle here. And the um, stochastic is looking really bullish. The same goes for the bullish band. We have about, uh, like, how many percents here? 1.5. 1% to the uh, highest of this Bollinger Band here, which is at 3,450. And that is about the area where uh, I do expect us to uh, have a pullback. So I don't expect us to go all the way uh, to the highs um, at this point. It will be a gradual, um, um, a gradual decrease to the upside. We may even see a pullback from here. Uh, probably, and the reason why I say that is because we are we still haven't broken through this trend line. If we look at something like that, we have this trend line here, which we need to break through. And at the moment, we are testing this trend line. And as long as we are under this trend line, I don't expect us to basically get to this point anytime soon. We'll get there, but we'll probably see pullbacks or choppiness uh, along the way. Um, so, yes, we also may see um, a scenario where we'll trade within this space of, of a highs of uh, 3,400 there above and a lows of around 3,200. So this is is also a possibility that we don't break this trend line, that we break down from here and then just go sideways for some time. The U.S. elections will have effects on this market. Uh, negatively, probably more, because they're getting really ugly. But also, the stimulus talk, and that's probably why we have this bullish candle today, um, are they are suggesting to uh, add stimulus, but I just don't think there is room in the United States Congress today for another stimulus. Uh, Republicans are, or at least in the Senate, are focused on the, on the uh, the Supreme Court pick uh, to get that through as fast as possible. And the you know, and then the current Democrats are, well, kind of pissed that they are doing that. So I don't expect those two parties to come together anytime soon. I just don't see that we'll have uh, a major stimulus bill in the next coming weeks or even the next coming months. And that is um, that could be terrifying for this market. Um, the inaction of Congress is usually what happens is the cause for a major decrease in price in the in the in the in the um, S&P 500 and the other indexes. Uh, the Fed can of course uh, boost the market, but the Fed cannot fight the market alone. That is historically not been the case. So. To the upside, we have this trend line. We have to break through that. And if we do, we go to 4, 000, uh, 3,400 and then uh, onwards. Lows are, lowest are 3,200. So if you look at the Dow Jones, 
we have rallied to this point, which is at 28,000 uh, level. And uh, from here, we need a lot of work in order to get through this. We'll probably have a pullback towards the 50 moving average and then go sideways. We could also break down to the 100 moving average and then go up from here. Technical indicators for the Dow Jones are very uh, positive at this point. So yeah, if we have a pullback, then I would definitely be a buyer. I will not be a buyer at this point because we could have a pullback at any time soon. If you look at the NASDAQ, No, I need to get rid of this. Uh, this was my analysis for today. But I'll leave this trend line because that is really important. So we have a massive trend line here that we have to break for in order to get to the all-time highs. We are trading way below this trend line at the moment. And the reason why we are having this bullish run is because of these stocks. I made a video of the tech stocks uh, earlier, which I will upload. And you can basically see the reason why the NASDAQ is doing as well as it do in a moment is because of these uh, big tech stocks. Um, the technical indicators for, for the, uh, the NASDAQ are very bullish. Um, but I do expect us to pull back towards the 50 moving average before going higher from here. Um, this area should be significant uh, support, not resistance, sorry. The resistant. Uh, I do expect a pullback from here. If we, we go past the, the 50 moving average, then we'll go down to this level. Uh, of um, uh, 10,700, that is the lows. So we may see, as similar to the S&P 500, um, um, uh, choppy um, trading between these lows and highs. Uh, no interest in buying at this moment because I need to see this getting higher. We need to basically break this line in order to go go higher in this index there is a possibility that we turn around and go to these lows. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the bell button and the like button and good luck.